and any student that ever went to this university, you say Lyceum in that image of that place, that uh, the steady, always there uh, rock, if you will, that we we build our our university community on. When the, when, the, when the university was established by the state and select, they selected Oxford as its location, they hired an architect. They sent a man named William Nichols to Oxford to uh, look at the land that had been set aside for the university and, and uh, lay out a master plan for the campus. Uh, the only direction they gave him was that they wanted the the campus and the buildings to reflect the greatness of Greek education. So Nichols uh, uh, names the building before it's built after the school that uh, Aristotle established in 335 BC in Athens. Lyceum, loosely translated, means Temple of Learning. Four buildings on the Ole Miss campus are named after Mississippi leaders that are connected to the state's racial past. Although not named after a specific controversial figure, the Lyceum, arguably the most famous building on campus, has its own racial story to tell. From 1846 to 1848, the Lyceum was uh, constructed by enslaved laborers and many of them were rented out in Lafayette County um, and uh, that story needs to be a part of the overall history of that structure. When the Lyceum opened its doors, slavery was alive and well in North Mississippi. The Lyceum had a white architect, white contractors, and other white carpenters. A majority of the slaves that were used to build the Lyceum were rented by these white workers and rented through the university itself. The slaves also built the bricks of the building from clay found in what is now the circle. They also sawed all the wood, which can still be found in the original flooring of the Lyceum. The Lyceum was built to be a beacon of educational enlightenment, but only for white males and not the black slaves that made the building. <laughs>